Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about high prices. Groceries are skyrocketing, gas, electricity, everything. So what I'm going to do today is a pork shoulder. Now pork shoulder is a very cheap cut of meat, but if you cook it right, you can make four or five meals out of it, depending on how big your family is. So we're going to do that next. All right. So stick around. All right, let's get started. We got the crock pot out. I've got a bone-in pork shoulder, also known as a pork butt. I've got better than bouillon caramelized onion, and I'm just going to liberally spread that all over this big piece of meat. It's going to add a delicious flavor to it, and that's all the seasoning that we're using. So I'm going to put this on high on the crock pot, and we're going to let this go for six hours. Now, six hours later, be careful, take it out of the crock pot and watch that bone. That's how tender that meat is. It just came out clean. Now we're gonna take out our KitchenAid. <clears throat> Excuse me, take out our KitchenAid. We're gonna use our paddle and we're gonna use the KitchenAid to shred this pork. Add a little bit of the juice from the crock pot. Put the paddle on and let it go. Now you're going to get about four pounds of shredded pork here. You can use it for tacos, burritos, uh, you can use it for pulled pork sandwiches, barbecue pork, barbecue pulled pork sandwiches. What I'm going to do with this is make carnitas really quick. So I'm going to take a couple uh, fork loads and put it into a frying pan. And then we'll get this on the heat on the stove. And the rest of that pork you can keep it in the fridge for probably three or four days. If you don't use it all, package it up and put it in the freezer. Save it for taco night. That whole pork shoulder was less than $10, and you're going to get four or five meals out of it. So we're going to add a little bit of uh, avocado oil to our pork here. Get that cooking. Then we're going to add some lime juice for some flavor. And we're just going to keep cooking this down until it starts to get nice and crispy, just like carnitas are supposed to be. There, you can see how it's starting to brown up and crisp right there. And I'm going to take a couple of uh, sweet peppers, throw those in a pan as well for a little side dish. Just uh, cook those real quick. And it's really crisping up good now. It's almost time to plate. Once we get this plated, the only seasoning we're going to put on this is a little bit of that juice that was left over in the crock pot from the caramelized onion and the uh, pork that cooked for six hours. Just pour a little bit of that on top. Serve that with the peppers and you have a delicious carnitas meal. If you want, you can add some tortillas to it. I just ate it just like that. But in these times, I'm telling you, one pork shoulder or pork butt, you get a lot of meals out of it, a lot of diversity with it, and save you some money. All right, thanks for watching, and come back soon.